Hey everyone, this is a quick look at the Sistar Party Crew from the Lego Movie 2. It's at 70848, ages 7 and up, and 196 pieces, or 200 if you want a round. And retails from 15 to maybe even $20 in the U.S. Um, I do want to say subscribe, drop a like if you haven't. Also, subscribe to my cousin over at Anthony and Lego Man. Without further ado, let's get into this set review. So most of the parts in this set go into making um, this new Sistar version of Metal Beard, which is probably the best version of Metal Beard, at least in my opinion, that we've ever gotten. I know we did get the Crab um, Battle Ready Metal Beard in one set, and then we did get his um, Metal Beard's Trike, and then we have, obviously, his original version in the first time, but the first Lego movie. But I do want to point out the new Gold Beard is definitely a main focus of this set for me because that's awesome because the last beard that we got was a gunmetal gray which was also nice to get um he does have a smiling face and just his regular printed hat with the flame piece used as the feather i do want to point out that you have the new tile on um, piano printed tiles as well, as well as one on the top which is nice to get too definitely going to be using that for some custom builds you also do have the golden chest which is also nice to get because the whole color scheme they're going for you is kind of like royal i guess which is like the purple and the gold also again various light gray brown and dark gray but that just makes the whole thing um his hand he's not even holding this <laughs> this his hand is a trumpet or a horn whatever you want to say which is kind of a cool side build he does have a drum not sure why they put that there, but he has a drum on one side. I think this might be a speaker or it's shoulder pad as a speaker. I, I don't know. You have this little um, stack on top with a diamond on top. I'm not sure what that is. Well, talking of diamonds, his peg leg at the bottom actually has a diamond, which I guess that's okay. I mean, if he's dancing on a dance floor, that diamond would scratch up that dance floor. That's for sure. So spinning him around to the back, you have just some more good purple printing again you're not going to be really looking from him from the back he does have the golden shell piece which is also nice to get because we've gotten that i think in the joker fun land for the venus fly trap printed in green and in a bunch of other sets so that's awesome he also does have i guess you could say a record player or maybe another speaker on there the black like, little circular cylinders i guess are supposed to be representing records Again, you have the arm. He does have a fair amount of articulation, but, I mean, you take what you can get because you can't articulate all over the Another thing for me is this hand. On this side, the fingers are clipped on very weakly, at least for mine. Um, so when I'm moving these fingers around, they're probably, they, mo they break very easily, at least for me. But you do have full articulation there. Again, those are brick built, the one on the bottom is like I guess maybe the thumb that's a problem with mech sometimes they put the finger underneath for the hand which I guess works if you're going I mean it is Lego but I understand um, you know so uh, sometimes those are easy to break as I said just good detailing all around the chest as I said was gold you can open this up the other way like that just comes with the bone and sausage that has fallen out. There it go. Just the sausage represent an organ and then a bone, I guess. Does also come with two spares that I'll show you after. So that's cool inclusion. And yeah, it does have two hooks to represent that he's playing the piano because the last metal beard that we got, his hands actually were hooks. So that's just a comparison between those two. They are kind of the same height. This is smaller from the actual Lego Movie um the first one of metal beard and yeah that really completes it for this metal beard the three side builds you get in this set is a very awesome speaker i do appreciate that that's just a regular slope piece that's built upside down you'll lean it up and then you have the two cylinder pieces to represent the speakers so as we know it was playing i'm not even going to say the song for you guys but i know you already have it through your head because it's probably stuck inside your head I'm sorry, I had to. So that was the speaker. It also does come with a nice stand. I, I really do like these table stands. They're used for a lot of things, for maybe booths or seats. Also does come with some cherry Slurpees. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys watch Stranger Things, you'll get that. But you have just, I guess, Slurpees or smoothies. Or if you get the um, 
Good Morning Sparkle Baby set. Again, they could be baby bottles, so that's awesome. You do get three of those. Then you get this little 4x4 four four in white um, tile or studded piece, and it kind of looks like the window symbol. Mm. Window says failed. No, I'm just kidding. But it to me, it just reminds me of that. But it is a very cool dance floor. You know, it can have various people just break dancing all on that floor and just gives you the idea that it continues on. Also does come with a, yet again another Benny. Um, so full 360 of him. But on the box, he's actually called Stardust Benny. I mean, they don't actually title metal beard and the unikitty in this set on the box but for him who is actually i'll show you the box later is doing the actual size reference they do call him stardust benny so he has a brand new torso which i really like dual molded boots you know if you compare it to bennies that we've got in the past such as the one from the first lego movie you know it's just a scratched up one just a various plain one and if you want to compare it to the one that we've gotten in the Lego Movie 2 as well, before he gets, like I said, his Sistar makeover. And yeah, so that was the comparison between the rest of them. Just has the ver the same chipped helmet. And this, I do love the new Star goggles, glasses. I don't even know what to call them. They're going back like into the 80s, I feel like, with this. Maybe even as far back as the 60s. Let me go ahead and take the stuff off so I can give you a better view of him. There's just a view from him from the back. And his secondary face is... Aw, look at that. With the white hearts printed. Let me bring that in closer for you to get a look at that. That's just really cute face. I love that. Because, of course, he's on the Sistar planet with all the spaceships that he can ever dream of. So... Let me go ahead and put the stuff back on, give you one final look. There's another view of him, and then just a regular blue oxygen tanks that we've gotten for so many Bennies in the past. And yeah, that completes it for Benny. One of the things that shocked me for this set when I first saw it when it came out and the pictures were released was this Unikitty because, man, was she styling. When I first saw the movie, it even shocked me. And I was like, I really hope, I, I'm telling you, when I saw that movie, I was like, I hope they make a piece of that scarf. And they did. And it is amazing. It holds its shape without any backbone to it. I mean, it's not like a pipe cleaner. It's just, let me unravel it for you. It's just its own fabric. Turning her neck actually does keep it in line a little bit. You know, it's just very fuzzy. Almost feels like a cloud. Very, very, very fuzzy. You know, and it's just articulate, just wiggle it. You know, it's just its own little thing there. It did come in like the boxes the capes usually come in for them she's got her kind of 80s boots on that are really really ridiculously tall or high heels if you want to that's got the, the tint of silver on the stars the blue printing on the bottom she does have her tail recolored um to be more of like a pinkish rainbow color the other one was white and purple and the Apocalypse Bird Unikitty that we got was all red, so this is definitely a step up, may I say. She does have her new um, design for putting the head on because last one we had just was that new piece with that inkwell. I just call it inkwell because they use that sometimes, or pin. She does, does have her horn and her two ears, and I do love the, say, 60s glasses, maybe 80s, I'm not really sure, but glasses she they also do give you a, another um little head choice so you can have her smile and without glasses you know so that just adds to the whole thing she also if you did want to take those heels off does have some uh little one by one bricks so you could have her at her normal height looking like this because if we compare it to one of the recent unikitties we got in the lego movie 2 you can see the tail difference there, as I was saying. Also, she does have, I noticed on the one from the pack, um, two one-by-one one bricks. Or, uh, not really bricks, but plate high. Um, this one just has the, but the same coloring on the bottom. I'm going to show you the tail. And this one actually was a different design, for me at least, because she had the actual brick and then stud instead of, like I said, the usual way um for the newer way for that unikit the instruction manual is fairly small again for i'm just going to round up and say 200 piece set but if you want to know exact 196 um which is typical you know just the pages you know 
but then it does show you the other sets which are very interesting because I personally don't have any of these just just yet I mean you got the Rexessor which is definitely one of my favorites you have I guess the spa with the red unikitty also with wild style hiding then you have the queen's castle which is definitely a really really awesome set and then on the other side is more lego movie 2 sets but the apocalyptic style sets um you have the mayhem ship the tricycle emmett's house and then the the buggy that they make actually and yeah so that was the instruction manual and overall, I really did like this set. Um, I do not agree with the price. This just doesn't feel like a $20 set to me. I know, I'm sorry. I do love the Metal Beard. Absolutely love the Unikitty. The Benny is nice. Nice to get the new style Benny. Speaker's a cool build. Dance floor, just all good set. 196 pieces. It's just not feeling like a $20 set to me. I mean, I'd like to see this go on sale, definitely. I think it already is, but maybe $15. I don't know. That's kind of pushing it, but I'd like to see it at 17 range. You know, it just doesn't feel... I don't feel like I'm getting $20 worth of this um, that for for a set, but um, I really do like it. I think the price-to-part ratio is pretty good. It's just a view of it from the back as you... As I showed, you can switch the Unikitty faces out, and yeah, so um, I just don't really agree with that price point there, but I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it is just a Sistar Party Crew, it's seven age, ages 7 and up, 70848 and 196 pieces. I do like the set, but again, don't really agree with the price. And that completes it for this set review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe. Drop a like if you haven't. Remember, you can never have too much bricks. And keep building, you guys.